All right, so welcome to our last subphylum, subphylum cephalochordata. These are the landslits. Uh, we find these organisms living in brackish and marine waters. So brackish waters are those that aren't quite as salty as marine systems, but are, are saltier than freshwater systems, it's kind of in between. Um, these organisms do exhibit all five chordate characteristics, so you should be running through that list of five characteristics in your head right now, and we are going to point out some of them to you on these images. So muscular postanal tail, you can see that really well. Eh, what's happening here? Hold on, we'll fix this. We will fix this. Hmm. Let's try this. See what happens here. All right, so we've there got we go. yeah muscular postanal tail right there. So you'll be able to see sort of a little fin-like structure associated with it, and it's muscular here in the center. Mm -hmm. We have um, the now the dorsal hollow nerve cord and the notochord can be kind of difficult to tell apart, and so what you want to look for are for some um, darkened structures that Dr. Scheele is um, coloring in in blue right now. Um, these are called ocelli. And um, if you look dorsal to that, you'll see the dorsal hollow nerve cord above it. And uh, ventral to those ocelli are the notochord. So that, those are the, the structures that are going to help you distinguish between dorsal hollow nerve cord and notochord. So when you first examine the specimen, look for those ocelli. Mm -hmm. Then we also. So wait, I'm going to. Oh, did you mention the notochord? Sorry. Yes. Okay, so here's the notochord below that, and it usually has a little bit of striation associated with it. Yeah. You can also see the pharynx really well in both of these images, and so you can see the pharyngeal slits. Very clearly. Yeah, extraordinarily clearly. And then um, keep in mind that at the base of the pharynx is where the endostyle is going to be. Remember, the endostyle is the structure that's going to secrete that mucus because these organisms are filter feeders, and they're going to use that mucus to help trap the food particles. Let me point something out. There's actually a big time mistake here on this photograph on the far right hand side. Mm. It says gill slits. Those are not gill slits. Those are the pharyngeal slits. Good catch, Dr. Shea. Yeah. Because they do not have gills. No. Uh, there are a couple other structures that uh, we just want to point out to you in terms of anatomical features. So associated with the mouth, we have some, um, some kind of tentacle-like looking structures. Those are called the buccal cirri. Is outlining uh, those in blue, and then um, the uh, posterior to that is uh, to the mouth is the structure called the wheel organ. That line right there, mm -hmm. and then this structure is called the vellum. It's a, essentially a wall that separates the outside from the inside. So this is the inside of the gut. This is outside of the gut. So think about these organisms. They're pulling water into their mouth, the water is going to also have food particles in it. They're going to use those pharyngeal slits and the endostyle to filter out the food, and then the water is going to, so the endos, the mucus from the endostyle is going to trap the food particles, and then the water is going to come out the pharyngeal slits and enter the atrium. So the atrium surrounds the pharynx. Yeah, so when I drew this sort of blue sac around the pharynx, think of that as an open space called the atrium. So water is entering the atrium, and then the food. Now we have a separation between the water and the food. The food is then going to go through the gut, and it's going to get digested, and eventually the feces are going to uh, get uh, eliminated through the anus. But the water is going to exit through a structure called the atriopore. So, like I said, There's water and one intake yeah. for food and water. So it's going to enter through the mouth, and then water exits the pharynx through the pharyngeal slits and enters the atrium, and the water then exits the atriopore. The food particles move from the pharynx into the gut, and then they're going to get processed, and then um, will be eliminated through the anus. So you can see this dark band through here. This is the gut, the intestines. Yep. All right. So right. we'll see you in lab. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving.